Hi everyone, this is Brad at UnwindReview.com. I just want to show you a few things about the BlackBerry Torch and the new OS 6 that BlackBerry just came out with. They're touting it as a fresh but familiar update. So basically anybody who is familiar with BlackBerry and uh, what they've done in uh, past devices will be very familiar with this, but it is more of a modern look and style. So let's go a little bit more into it. Uh, to start off with, as you can tell, that this is just the uh, the main app tray. It gives you all the different uh, apps that you've downloaded or were already preloaded on the device. Um, nice thing is, though, you can bring it down here just to minimize it, kind of like you can with the Bold or the Curve or any of the other BlackBerry devices. Uh, this way you only see the most popular ones that you are always using. Now, you can also move to different panels. This, some, this is something that's brand new with OS 6. So with these different panels you have your, your favorites of course, those are your speed dials, your media for all of your camera, video camera, music, podcasts and whatnot. Also your uh, downloads, so anything that you get from App World or even any other third party you'll be able to uh, stick in this folder here and uh, of course your frequent so these are the ones that I've been going into the most as I've been reviewing the device now on other BlackBerry devices when you needed to move around icons hide them uh, basically whatever you needed to do with the apps that are already in the app tray you had to use the menu button or as some like to affectionately call it the freckle button Now. With the uh, apps now, with OS 6, instead of doing all that, you can actually just press and hold the icon itself, and it's going to pull up a little pop-up menu. Now, if you've used Android before, this is going to look very familiar, because you can do it's essentially the same thing with Android devices. So now I can go in, oh, you know what, I like text messaging, I'm going to mark that as my favorite. So now I can go over, and there it is, my text messages. Or, if for some reason, I'm really shy, I don't like to text message at all, I can just hide it. Where'd it go? So, that gives you a general idea of what you can do with the icons and how the touchscreen really comes in handy uh, for the app tray itself. Now, let's get out of there. We can get rid of that completely for now. Um, now, up here at the top, we've got a couple other uh, places that you can use the touchscreen and it really comes in handy. For example, um, up here for the date and time, it used to be that uh, if you wanted to change the date and the time on a Blackberry, you had to go in, find the options in your apps, uh, in, the, in the settings specifically, and change it there. Now, press it, and voila, it just shows up right there. So now I can go into uh, pretty much any of these settings here. I can go in and set my alarm, add in Bluetooth, whatever I want to do. So a lot of different uh, options there. In addition to the date and time, there's a few other buttons that I can take advantage of here as well. Uh, sound profile, I can go through and just like I would with the other Blackberries, go in and choose whichever one I wanted. But it's just, to me, a lot easier to be able to use the touchscreen. One other thing that you're going to find familiar if you've ever used an Android is the notification bar. Uh, typically on Android you find it on the very top of the screen and you can just pull it down. Well, in a similar fashion, you can just press this and it's going to come on all the way down. Now I've got all my calendar appointments, my Twitter updates, messages, pretty much whatever you expect in any other notification bar is going to show up here now. I find this a lot easier actually than the older BlackBerry devices that still have the notifications up here on the top but you couldn't actually get to it and show it like you could on this one. You can't just bring it down. Uh, rather, if it says I have a message up here and I have to hunt around for it, whether it's in my email, in my texting specifically, um, it could even be one of those really pain in the butt uh, browser messages that just end up showing up and you have to really do some hunting around for it. Now it's just all going to be right here. One other huge difference on the BlackBerry OS 6 is going to be the universal search. 
So just right here. Whoops, just kidding. That's what I get for operating a uh, video camera and trying to mess with the touchscreen device all at the same time. Okay, so now let's say I want to do a universal search. Um, I'm interested in an unwired view, so I'm just going to start typing that. So as you can see, as I go along, now I can start seeing uh, how it filters out. It's going to give me all sorts of different options, whether it be um, I have calendar appointments that have unwired view in there, uh, emails from unwired view. Uh, if I did a browser the uh, search for unwired view at some point, it's going to show up in my history. Okay, so I can see that right there, and then I can just easily go in and pull it up. Also, I want to demonstrate the uh, Wi-Fi syncing capabilities of the OS 6, which I really like. So right now, I've gone through, I've made sure that I have it connected to my Wi-Fi, and um, I also have my desktop manager uh, set up on my computer right now. So, all these different songs here are actually uh, loaded on my music library on the computer, but they're not actually in the phone. It's just interesting that I can actually see what uh, is available through my computer. So let's just say I want to choose this one here. Okay, yes, I want to download. And just so you didn't have to see me actually download the entire thing, here it actually has already uh, synced up with my Wi-Fi. So now it's right there in completed state. And I can go straight in. Start listening. Oh, it's a classic song, I must say. Okay. So that's a little bit about the uh, Wi Fi syncing. Again, this is Brad at unwiredview.com. I hope you'll be able to make it to uh, our website and catch our full in depth review on the Blackberry Torch. Um, obviously, uh, I have a a lot of reviewing to do on this, not just for the new operating system, but also for the device itself. Um, this is BlackBerry's first slider, um, its first uh, touchscreen with a capacitive screen instead of using the Sure Press. So uh, there's a lot to look at. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy it, but uh, please do visit us and uh, leave a comment. Thank you.